Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the show to end all shows. Behold, with wonder and amazement, I very proudly present to you the magnificent Roy! A trick that only I can muster. Ahead! Let's look forward to tomorrow. The crowd's bound to be bigger than ever. I held a dismembered head today. The last thing I'm thinking about is going back on stage. Oh, now, when historians look back on great magicians, they'll remember us. The magnificent Roy and his faithful assistant, Merriweather. Of all the places of a man's head to be in, his hat seems just right. Where did you get that hat? I don't actually know. I I'm not trying to hide anything from you. I I'm not concerned about revealing secrets. I just don't know. Maybe Roy is trying to get ahead in his career. <laughs> Mary, could you go get us a cup of coffee or something? Well, as legal counsel of the magnificent Roy, I can't let you Mary, do it. Mary, go ahead. I'll be fine. Listen, Roy, now I'm asking you as a friend, a family friend. You've got to tell me. How did you do that trick? I guess it's magic. Roy. Harvey. First time, huh? Yeah. Having a bad day, I guess. Well, I'm having a good day. Today, I call no man mister. Why is that? Stabbed my boss this morning. Oh! I mean, all I did was pull a severed human head out of a hat. Let me guess, you were holding it for a friend. Not quite. This is a joke, right? No. That's my assistant, Merriweather. Sorry to put you through all this trouble, Roy. That's okay, Mary. It's not your fault. That's the thing. It is. Behold them turn into a half dollar bill. You'll soon see them, and I'll give you those monies. Yo, boss. Time to close the shop. Who are you? I'm the new janitor. Yeah. You can call me Jerry. That's when I had the idea. Uh, Jerry? Could you help me with something? Sure. What's up? Whoa, wait, wait, one question. If your hat has a human head in it, what happened to the rabbit? 